Hi, welcome back to our channel. This is Teacher Cedric. Let's have a look at another PSLE question. So join designed a logo that consists of three small sectors, or to be more accurate, quarter circle. So one, two, three, they're all identical. And then there's a larger sector over here, which is again a quarter of a circle. And there are two straight lines that we can find in this square of side 42. And the radius of each small quarter circle is 14. Like always, we always try to label out this information in our shape. So let's do that. We know this is 14. We know this is also 14. And this is also 14. And one more. This is also 14. Because these are all the radius of the small quarter circle. And now let us have a look at the first part. What is the perimeter of the shaded part? Now, if you only look at the shaded part, then you can see that what kind of shape is this? Well, to me, it looks kind of like an octopus. It does a head, and it looks like two tentacles. And do we know how to find the area formula? Do we know, sorry, do we know the perimeter formula to find the perimeter? No. So what can we do? Well, whenever you encounter an irregular shape where you don't know the area formula or the perimeter formula, what can we do? We can split it into some regular shapes that we can find. In this case, we can split this shaded part into what some other parts. We can split it into three quarter circles, the small one, this three, and then this part over here, which is a big sector. So that's how we can solve the first problem. Let's do this calculation fast. All right, so starting with the three sectors, what we can do is that I can simply take three times a quarter times the air, sorry, times the perimeter formula, which is nothing but 22 over seven times d, the diameter, pi d, that's the perimeter formula. So what is the diameter of these three smaller sectors? That's gonna be 28, well done. So 28, and if you calculate this, you will get 66 centimeter. So this accounts for the three sectors. So this one, this one, and this one. We have, we have these straight lines and these straight lines, which is 14. So 14, 14, because they should add up to the side of this square, which is 42. So let me now erase this one. 14 and 14. And what else? What about this big curve area? Well, that's simply a big sector, a big quarter circle. And do we know how to find out the perimeter? Of course, we can simply take a quarter, again, times pi times the diameter. Now, what is the diameter of this large circle? Aha, uh -huh. the radius of this sector, of this quarter, is 28. So what is the diameter? 56. And now, if you do this calculation, then you will get 44. So how do I get a, get a total perimeter? Very simple, I just add them all up. So 66 plus 44, and don't forget about the two straight lines, 14 and 14, and this should add up together to, the final answer, 138 centimeter. So that's the total area of the first part. Now let us move on to the second part. Let me erase all this. Now moving on to the second part, what is the area of the shaded part? And again, if you just look at this shaded part, we don't know how to find the area. We, we, there's no formula for that. Again, we can decompose it into smaller parts. We can decompose it into three small sectors, three small quarters, which we can find as formula, the, sorry, the area, by simply taking three times a quarter, and in this time, since we are talking about area, we take pi r squared. What is r? 14. 
So 14 squared, and then this will give me 462 centimeter squared. So this is the three areas of the, of, the, of the three quarters. But we still have this one over here. But what is this shape? It looks kind of like a slope. But do we know the area formula? No. So what can we do? Ah, so here's another technique which we can use. Whenever you account an irregular shape where we don't know the formula, we can always try to find a bigger regular shape that contains the shaded parts, and then we simply subtract away the unshaded part. In this case, we can see that this part is contained in a, tri in a, in a square over here. And the unshaded part is nothing but just a large quarter. So I can simply take a square, subtract the unshaded part to get the shaded part. So we can simply, for the square, that's going to be 28 times 28 minus the unshaded part, in this case, a big quarter, a quarter times the pi times, now, the radius. The radius we have talked about, this is 28 squared. And then you will get the answer, 168 centimeter squared. So now having found out all the parts of this shadow region, we can simply combine them. So 462 plus 168, and then we will get the answer 630 centimeter squared. So that's how we solve the second part. And again, don't go yet. What are the main takeaways from this question? We have learned two techniques to solve irregular shape. First is that we can cut them into regular parts. And the second method that we learned is that if I couldn't cut it into more smaller parts, I can find a regular shape that contains it and then subtract away the unshaded part. So those are the two most useful, the, 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 the techniques that are most very, very often in PSLE geometry problems. So make sure you remember that. So that's it for today. Our PSLE class is now enrolling. If you'd like to learn more about that, make sure you scan the QR code and join our study group. If not, that's it for today. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.